Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, AOPA plays apologist for Icon Aircraft. Lance Air welcomes first Mako owner to new Texas Builders Assistance Center. And Mooney International delivers first production Ovation Ultra. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's November 22nd, and this is Airborne Unlimited. ANN's senior editorial staff was stunned to read a recent article by the AOPA Air Safety Institute's executive director, Richard McSpadden, in which the ASI boss not only seemed to offer a probable cause long before the NTSB report is due, but seemed intent on appointing itself an apologist for all things ICON. This piece lauded ICON in their errant CEO, Kirk Hawkins, despite the fact that the company has proven itself incompetent on a number of levels, has engaged in fraudulent statements and conduct, has acted widely and recklessly through its promo and demo programs, is over half a decade behind original scheduled, has overpriced the aircraft to a point where it is now twice to three times the price of competitive product, and well over 250% of what was originally promised, has played all kinds of games with various media entities in order to project an image that is both false and misleading, and so much more. Multiple attempts to reach McSpadden have been made, and calls have not been returned. After the break, Airbus A380 deal with Emirates in limbo. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. The Bristel Light Sport aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. While Airbus executives were waiting in the wings to sign a $16 billion deal with Emirates Airline for 36 A380 airliners at the Dubai Air Show last week, the carrier told the plane maker that the deal would not be signed that day. The delay in the deal places the future of the world's largest jetliner in question. Boeing, meanwhile, walked away from the air show with a $15 billion deal with the airline. An airplane with the acting prime minister of Belize on board was involved in an accident Friday, but he was not seriously injured. Acting Prime Minister Han Patrick Faber, along with another official, were en route to Punta Gorda town via a Tropic Air flight. On takeoff from the Placencia airstrip, the left landing wheel made contact with a passing vehicle that had managed to bypass one of the lowered barriers. The impact caused the Tropic Air vessel to plunge into the sea right off the coast of Placencia. Hartzell has wrapped up its fourth year as a propeller technical partner for the Red Bull Air Race Championship. As part of its partnership, Hartzell provided the claw three-blade structural composite propellers to all 14 race teams competing in the Red Bull Air Race World Championship. The company also supplied governors composite spinners and technical support for the 2017 championship, which saw eight races in seven countries. The FBI and the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office are seeking information from the public to help identify the person or persons responsible for shots fired from the ground at a crop dusting plane in Belgrade, Montana. 
On July 18, 2017, the crop duster belonging to Headwaters Flying Service was struck by multiple rounds while in flight over Belgrade. The pilot, who was not hurt, was spraying wheat field approximately two miles east of Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport in the vicinity of Springville and outlaw subdivisions along Airport Road in Belgrade. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Lancer's first production Mako customer was welcomed last week to the newly launched Builders Assistance Center at the company's Texas headquarters. Housed in a 10,000-square-foot climate-controlled hangar, the Builder Assistance Center provides a dedicated work environment for Lance Air kit owners to complete critical aircraft assemblies or the entire aircraft. Lance Air's Builder Assistance Program is dedicated to helping buyers rapidly advance their aircraft to completion. In addition, the intensive one-on-one -on -one process ensures that new owners are intimately familiar with their aircraft helping them to enhance safety and minimize future maintenance expenses. Builder assistance programs range from a basic two-week program to full in-house flyaway aircraft completion. The standard two-week program comes with every MAKO purchase and includes assistance in closing wings, tail and control surfaces, and mating the fuselage halves. Builder's assistance programs are also available to coordinate construction with build centers in other locations. The flyaway option offers a customizable full completion path with avionics, paint, and interior services, as well as flight training. The flyaway program allows a new owner to complete their MAKO in as little as five to six months. After these messages, Mooney International delivers first production Ovation Ultra. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. Mooney has completed delivery of the first production Ovation Ultra. It was the latest in a series of major milestones this year for the Texas-based manufacturer. The M20U Ovation Ultra boasts a normally aspirated Continental IO550 engine and comes fully loaded with a redesigned leather interior, a pilot side door, wider cabin access, larger windows, and the Garmin G1000 NXI avionics suite. Our base model is really a fully loaded airplane, as we believe rather than upcharging customers for every feature, we should treat them with the same levels of respect and care they would receive when purchasing any top-of-the-line world-class machine," said Mooney's marketing director, Lance Phillips. In fact, one of the few customer-selectable options available on new Ovation and Acclaim Ultras is a TKS anti-icing system, manufactured by longtime Mooney supplier CAV Ice Protection, which is certified for flight into known icing conditions. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airboard Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We're taking a break tomorrow and Friday to not only celebrate Thanksgiving, but to get over that inevitable turkey comas that result. But don't worry, we should be back up to speed by Monday. We'll see you then.